Hi there! How is life treating you? I'm Ola Yankova, a senior teacher in Green Forest, and this is your monthly online English lesson. I'm sure you crave for knowledge, so without further ado, let's start. Today, we're going to figure out the difference between the adjectives ending with ed and ing. This lesson is provided to you by Green Forest and our interactive platform. It will take you about 30 minutes. Please open the lesson in a new tab, just click on the link below, and you're all set. However, before you do, make sure you have subscribed to our channel so as not to miss our next video lessons and make sure you've already done all the previous ones. Today, we're going to talk about adjectives that derive from verbs and how they are formed. Our lesson will consist of a short grammar explanation with examples and three interactive tasks. One task with new vocabulary and two tasks that will help you practice the new words. Each task we will complete during the class has three buttons at the end – check, show answers, reset. When you press check button, you will see if your answers are right or wrong. When you press Show Answers button, you will see the correct answers. Press it again to go back to your answers. When you press Reset button, all your answers will disappear and you will be able to do the task once again. Are you exciting to start? Or is it excited? Let's see. There are some adjectives in English that derive from verbs and can have both ed and ing endings. For example, excited, exciting, tired, tiring, annoyed, annoying, inspired, inspiring, and so on. Is there any difference? You ask me. Yes, of course, a huge one, I'll tell you. The adjectives ending with ed are used to describe feelings and emotions of a person. Let's say excited children, tired workers, annoyed drivers, inspired students. At the same time, the ing ending is used to describe things, situations, or give a characteristic of a person. It's not about feelings, but what we think about those objects and people. For example, exciting movie, tiring grammar task, annoying taxi driver, I mostly get just this kind, if you know what I mean. Inspiring speech. Very often, we can use both if we change the sentence a little bit. For example, I was so surprised by his decision. Yeah, his decision was really surprising. Seems simple, right? Let's look at task 1 then and learn some adjectives like that. In this task, you have 18 different adjectives, all ending with ed. It means that they describe feelings or characteristics. Yes, you're right, feelings. Please, match these adjectives with their meanings. You have about 6 minutes for this task. Once you're done, check yourself.
How was it? So many words might be tricky to match, right? Now, help me figure out what they are going to be like with the ing ending. Fascinated becomes fascinating, astonished, astonishing, terrified, terrifying, depressed, depressing, thrilled, thrilling, confused, confusing, annoyed, annoying, alarmed, alarming, captivated, captivating, disgusted, disgusting, disturbed, disturbing, embarrassed, embarrassing, frustrated, frustrating, overwhelmed, overwhelming, relieved, relieving, insulted, insulting, satisfied, satisfying, moved, moving. Please hit a pause button and check with the dictionary for some extra explanation if some words are unclear to you. Or just ask in the comments below. If everything seems to be fine, let's move on to task 2. In this task, we've got 18 sentences, in each of which we need to choose the correct adjective, ending with ed or ing. Let's check out sentence 1 together, shall we? The film was so mm -hmm -hmm that I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. We're talking about the film, so it means I'm going to describe something rather than talk about my feelings. So I'll go for fascinating. The film was so fascinating. But I could say I was so fascinated by the film that blah blah blah. Ready to continue? You've got 8 minutes for the task. When you're done, check yourselves.
Got everything right? Did you see a little hint in sentences 4 and 14? The verb feel. Whenever we have it in the sentence, we'll definitely use the adjectives ending with ed. However, it's not always the case. You might also describe yourself with the ing adjectives. For example, I felt frightened. It means I was afraid of something. But I felt frightening means that I could be described as frightening by other people. Maybe it was a Halloween costume that I was describing, or it was just a bad hair day, you know. Okay, let's move on for the final task for today. This task is a bit trickier. Over here, we need to figure out which adjective to use in the sentence and choose the correct form. Let's check out one together. He was really hmm <laughs> by the doctor's handwriting. As you know, doctors are notorious for their illegible, it means you can't read it, handwriting. So I think that I need to use confused or confusing over here. But which one is it? Am I talking about how the person feels or describing the handwriting? I'm talking about the way he feels, so I'll go for confused. At the end of the sentence, you'll see the word extra. So let's put the extra option, confusing, here. 17 more sentences left for you. You've got 8 minutes for the task. Check yourself once you're done.
It was quite a challenge, I'll tell you. I'm relieved or relieving that it's over. Of course, it's relieved. I do hope your results are satisfied or satisfying. Well, the results are definitely satisfying and you, I'm sure, are satisfied with those results. Way to go. We're done with our lesson for today. I was thrilled to see you here again. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel not to miss our next video lesson and more cool videos on learning English. Also, write what you think of the lesson in the comments below and tell us if there are any other topics you'd like to work on. Oh, and if you missed our previous lessons, make sure you check those out as well. Also, don't forget that this short lesson is just a small part of all the English knowledge you can get with our interactive course book Notes by Green Forest during online lessons in Green Forest School of English. You can find all the details in the comment pinned below. Take care, guys. Boom.